Paul is campaigning for the first time here in his home state. Thousands of Texans have packed each of the congressman's town halls so far in College Station and Fort Worth. And just as many or more are expected in San Antonio tonight for the final Texas stop. Capital Tonight's Alana Rocha joins us live from San Antonio. Alana, expecting many people from all over the state. Yes, Paul, and with Austin not too far and such a strong Ron Paul following in the capital city, many say they've decided to make the short trek south. They say to hear the same consistent message, but live. And we caught up with a few of them before they hit the road. So far, it's just us in that caravan, but there, I think everybody else is the capacity in their cars, too. The passion to see Ron Paul and experience the fervor his message invokes is driving many of his supporters in Austin to head south. To actually see the man in person and be able to see him and to feel the excitement of his actual support. It's, I don't want to say it's a once in a lifetime opportunity, but it'll be the first opportunity for me. Israel Freeland is not alone by far, nor is he the only veteran making the trip to see Ron Paul. First and foremost, I, you know, I believe in our country, I believe in the Constitution, and he's a strict constitutionalist. He's the only one that's supporting us. He's the only one that doesn't want to go to war for profit. He just wants to go to war when it's needed. Jo Emily Feliciano and her husband are both veterans and say she believes in Paul because he understands the issues, because he's also a vet. One of now three remaining GOP presidential hopefuls, who she and thousands of his supporters say still has a fighting chance to secure the nomination. The thing is, the media isn't reporting the amount of delegates that we actually have. I mean, they can keep playing with the beauty contest all day long, but what really matters is what happens on the convention floor in Florida, and we plan on making some noise. Heather Kendrick believes in Ron Paul as much as the next supporter. But what if, like Rick Santorum did earlier this week, Paul decides to abandon his bid for the White House? Even by chance, if that did happen, and you know, I believe that's a big F, that he's already changed the discussion. Before, we never talked about the Federal Reserve. We never talked about blowback and our actions overseas. And so a lot of that, in a lot of ways, we've won. It's wonderful to be back because I love this weather. <laughs> You know, this whole idea that we can get these thousands and thousands of people out in the sun and in the newspapers report, where's Ron Paul? He disappeared. The expansive crowd inside San Antonio's main plaza Thursday night would largely disagree. They're claiming, you know, the campaign's over. When are you going to drop out? The, they say, yeah, that's what I say, too. I'm glad you agree. <laughs> Paul made it clear once again he's not going anywhere. We're involved in not only running to win and have an influence, but we really want to convert people into having some beliefs and convictions and understanding about what true liberty is all about. And that's where we're winning, let me tell you. Paul's message of liberty was definitely familiar to the crowd of more than at least a thousand supporters, but many told us hearing it for the first time live made a difference. Seeing him in, in person is exactly how you see him in the YouTube videos. Like, he's so honest and he's so personal. He doesn't have, like, cards and he's not reading for something. He's just talking. Like, he knows his message. He's doing a lot of good. He's educating a lot of people as to what's going on in Washington, which is, we need it terribly bad. I need the Texans here say they're working to ensure is met up until the convention in August down in Florida. Like we say, you can't stop a message whose time has come. No matter what happens, they're going to hear from us. And Texans heard it loud all this week across the state. Many Ron Paul supporters are gearing up for Saturday's county Senate elections or conventions rather were now because of the delayed primary election. The delegate selection process begins. Paul. Paul supporters are very passionate. Thanks very much, Alana.